For 40 years, Estelarque's art has placed his body in two tricky positions, both genuinely and thoughtfully, with instinctive exhibitions that test the huge number among man and machine, which features the two most ongoing ideas that go through his work, abuses of the body and evident lack of care toward innovation. To the normal watcher, his exhibitions are full of vulnerability. There's such a thing you would go through weeks getting ready for. Estelarque has been able to take human body to the limit. He has been able to blur links between human and technology. In his unconventional exhibitions, he puts his human structure in the uninterested grasps of innovation. As Stellar considers the to be body as a fabrication of meat, metal, and code, he uses it as a guide, the vessel, and the uncharted region to be investigated. Each following test pushes the limit of his genuineness and gives us a brief look at the manners in which we will draw in uh, with the hyper-connected world. Ear on the Arm is a Solark's best performance. It involves two surgeries. It took the artist 10 years to get the best surgeons for the piece. The first surgery for Ear on the Arm was on 2006. The first surgery involved a skin expander to have excess skin. The surgery caused some vital issues like necrosis and the ear rotated uh, around the arm. The second surgery was introducing a biocompatible implant. It was designed to induce cell growth. It, w it meant to position of a miniature microphone inside the ear, but it was removed because of an infection. Estolark is arranging last medical pressure that will change the ear in progress into a utilitarian organ. The ear lobe will be partly developed utilizing his own grown-up foundational microorganisms. Such a method isn't lawful in the U.S., so it will be done in Europe. The idea of interfacing the body to the remainder of the world is available in huge numbers of Estralark's different artworks. In his artworks, Estelarque is frequently snared to contact mics that enhances the inward sound of his body. In any case, loud as his art might be, he isn't really attempting to state anything through his exhibitions. Rather, he says he is making signals towards bizarre potential outcomes of the human body, hauling innovation down an unpaved way to increase elective life structures. The large work is a signal towards future bodies where you would have to, the option to fuse vision, hearing, haptic encounters of individuals in different spots. Your body isn't this locally working, locally seeing body. The body that is circulated and can shape past the limits of its skin. The body should be web empowered in more closed manners. The ear on arm venture recommends an other anatomical design the design of another organ for the body, an accessible, available, portable organ for different uh, bodies in different spots, 
empowering individuals for find and tune into another body somewhere else. The artist keeps on investigating the constraints of the human body, the division among innovation and our idea of self, which is getting more slender with the coming of gadgets that are coordinated in the human body. For example, tattoos that show your well-being, electronic pills, smart contact lenses connected to the web. Mr. Lark's art is like no other. He accomplished marrying body artwork with the technology. Technology has been very relevant in modern day pressure, allowing people to restructure their bodies to their desired designs. People are borrowing from Mr. Lark's original idea to manipulate the body for size reduction or increase losing body fat and even changing facial features to look like a different person. 